Hey everybody, Nerd Transformed here again, and today I'm reviewing the Transformers Titans Returns Legends class Sharktacon, or Nah. Now Nah here is of course a shark, uh, the Sharktacon from the G1 um, animated movie, and if you don't know, the Sharktacons were basically the minions of the Quintessons that uh, Cup and Rock Hot Rod had the fight to get out the breakout prison and eventually turned them to get and eventually once the Dinobot showed up, turned the Sharktacons to get their own masters. I'm not sure if they show up again because I have not seen season three of, of G1. I've only about honestly I've only made it about halfway through season two. But this definitely looks like the Sharktacons from the movie, although I do have some problems with this. Main thing I think a lot of people have is the same problem as me is that it's a Legends class and Although that does make it really easy to army build, it also just doesn't fit in scale of anything. But it is nice to at least have some version of the Sharktacon, especially since they did manage, they did keep his G, their G1 alt modes. Uh, Sharktacon, I'm not sure, they're, they're kind of like a cross between like a land shark, like a, a shark that could walk on land and giving them a piranha face, because you can see you have the fin, you do have the legs and the claws, and then you got the face that's more like a piranha. So they are pretty cool looking, they're a very interesting design. And it did paint it very well, I mean, this this whole upper jaw here is clear plastic, so this is actually all paint. Those eyes are um, clear plastic underneath for the eyes, that way they have clear plastic. I'm not sure why they made this whole thing clear plastic though, when they could have just made two separate pieces, but I guess paint's cheaper than separate plastic pieces. But this is all painted, you know, all of this right here is grey, the purple for the lips, the grey for the teeth. And it's also painted down here. Um, we get some pink for the lip here, and then some little blue for the, some blue for the little spikes sticking off his lip. Um, I don't think the teeth are painted down here, but I mean they're kind of very gray plastic. It does color match pretty well. This gray down here is actually a different gray from up here, so it's not perfect, but it comes very close. And you can see I got a little paint splotch on the tooth there. I got a little bit of pink. And if you open the mouth, you can see inside there and see his robot head. Um, the rest of the figure doesn't look quite as good. I think his body looks a little too short. I know they were kind of stubby looking creatures in the movie, but I do think this is a little too short. Um, you do got the fin up here. Nothing else is painted really, except from some, some stuff for robot mode. You do got the legs here, and you have the hands of the robots just kind of sticking off the legs. And you got his tiny little tail here. The proportions do bug me a little bit, but I still think this is an alright little shark to con. And like I said, really easy to army build. Really easy to army build. For comparison, here he is next to Legends Brawn, so you can see, I mean, he is bigger, but it's because he's, a, you know, an animal, a creature rather than a vehicle, so he, of course, is going to look a little bigger. He does have a Titan Master gimmick thing where you can put a Titan Master in his mouth, and the Titan Master can ride him inside of his mouth. Not sitting, just kind of standing, and his head kind of ends up here. I don't have a Titan Master on him to show you, but, oh, let me see if I can get one real quick. There we go. This one will do. <laughs> Got uh, Octone's Type Master here, so go and watch this. Open up the jaws. There are some pegs down there in the bottom jaw. Can be a little tricky lineup, but you can get going. I mean, you could have just keep the upper jaw open, and there you go. Type Master kind of riding the shark to con, but you know, if you close the mouth back up, it looks like he's eating Type Master. Which, I guess you could work. You could probably create a scene like with the. Maybe have the arms up or something. As if he's holding the jaws apart create one of those scenes. Like, don't eat me! I don't know. I'm being weird now. But yeah, you could do that. Um, he does have plenty of articulation in this mode. I mean, you do get a swivel at the arm here. Only a swivel. Um, upper jaw opens up one click. Bottom jaw can go all the way down like that, flatten out, basically. Like, brr. Brr. Yeah, that's the highest you can get. You can really get him, like, chomping into the ground or something. I do got ball jointed, uh, I guess you could say hips. So they can go all, full 360, you can go outward. You also got ball jointed knees, so they can fully collapse. You can have them doing like a frog, you know, ribbit, ribbit. And they do swivel as well. Now I can't see him as a frog. He's a mutated frog, guys. But yeah, there's a, the only thing that kind of sucks about all this is that um, he is kind of hard to balance since his front, his legs are so far back and he's a little front heavy, as you can see. I mean, you can get him to stand with his legs more extended, but it it's a very wobbly balance. I mean, not too bad actually, but you know, given the force, it will go forward. It also has a peg right on the bottom of his jaw, so if you want him in like a 
jumping pose, you gotta pick it to the bottom of the drop, but you can do it, which is nice. So let's get into the robot mode. It's a pretty simple transformation, come back to the tail, just untap it from the back there. You do need to untap it in order to get it out of the way for transformation. Upper jaw, you're gonna want to untap it from the lower jaw and then split it, so that way it can go around the fin. Just bring both pieces of the upper jaw down, go ahead and take it and rotate back to reveal the feet, and you can have the arms laid down to kind of act as heel spurs extra heel spurs, or just to get them out of the way. Uh, the arm does come out, the ball joint comes out at a double inch here, and snaps back in place up here. Same on this side. There we go. Then you just rotate the feet around and reveal the hands, which makes for a really janky looking arm, but we'll get to that in a minute. Finally, flip up the head, flatten it out wherever you feel is best. It can go up this far, but you can tell it kind of wants it about there. Then you take the fin, just fold it up, doesn't go in any further than that, so it sticks out, still sticks out pretty bad. And then you can give him his little spike club thing, and there you have Nah in his little robot mode. And this is where we will really make or break the figure for you. Because the short decon mode, I might complain about being too small, but I can kind of live with that, because at least it makes it really easy to army build these things for those who want multiple short decons. And at least it does look like the Juan short decon. This it certainly looks like the Shark Con's robot mode to an extent, but it feels very, very lazy. But let's go ahead and get comparisons out of the way first. Here he's next to Braun, and you can see he is quite a bit shorter, and he has weird proportions compared to most Legends classes. Like, he has a huge head with a bulkier body, but much tinier limbs. Like, I don't know, he's really bulk, he's, he's got like bulkhead proportions, but on a much smaller scale, and on a smaller scale, it looks a little, a little ridiculous. Even Bulkhead still had a head that kind of fit in. His head looks, his head looks like it's too big. Like here, let's take Octone here. If you actually compare the heads, he's nearly headmaster, Titan Master sized. He's almost got a Titan Master sized head. I mean, Bronze got a big head too, but most of that's his helmet. This is. Like, two-thirds of that is his face. He's got a very big and wide face. And it looks cool. It's nice to actually be able to see the Sharktacon face, but you see, it looks really weird proportionally. Because in the movie, they are actually proportionally um, correct. But let's talk about what we do got here. Um, we do get some purple paint. Um, the rest of the paint is, most of the paint is from the Sharktacon mode, but the extra stuff, you do get a little tampo you can see from the Decepticon symbol there. Fortunately, the peg hole now ends up at the bot right under his chest, and you really can't use it. Uh, you get some purple right here on the chest, which kind of reminds me of Galvatron's uh, chest. And you also get some yellow or no, pink right here and then blue for the little feet. So it's nice to actually paint the feet so you can actually see them easier. The worst part for this thing is just comes from the aesthetics. For one thing, his arms are stuck in the bit as a bend. Like, that's as straight as they get. Which, I mean, it's not bad from the front. It looks fine. It looks like he's ready to punch someone. But it's, it's one of those things that if it bugs you to have an ar that not be able to straighten out an arm, this is not going to be a robot mode for you. And the legs have the same issue. I am not putting this in a pose like this on purpose. That's the that's the way you get to stand straight, is have his legs forward like that. Because if you actually straighten out the hips, his legs are now back there. And I'm not mistransforming him either. This is as far as the knee goes. It stops right there. This little piece is stopping the leg from unbending for more. I'm not sure why they designed him like this. It's also probably the reason why he's so short, is because his legs are constantly stuck in a half bend. From Like I said, from the front, it looks fine. The moment you look at it from any your angle, though, it looks really weird and really janky, really wonky, and not in a good way. For me, at least. Maybe you like these proportions, these weird stances he has, but for me, it's a little too weird. One cool thing, though, is that you can actually take this, though, and the bottom of where his foot was has a peg. So if you want them to have the melee weapon underneath, you can actually do that. Or if you have some other weapons from the carry, he can actually carry like four weapons on his arms. So that is a neat little thing. I it kind of makes me wish we had multiple of these, so, so we can completely quadruple arm him, have him go nuts, just destroying everything. Oh, uh, let's move on to articulation. His head does swivel, which is nice. Got ball joint at the shoulder. Ball joint at the elbow, same as before. No waist swivel, unfortunately. Uh, do got ball joint to knees, or no, ball joint to hips. Not ball joint to knees, and there's no swivel, which kind of stinks. So he's, up to this point, we've been getting swivels on like every Legends class. The only one I, think, the only one I can think of is a uh, Power Glide didn't have an arm swivel. That's the only one I can think of the top of my head, anyway. 
So yeah, that's kind of weird we didn't get a swivel. I mean, I get this leg's doing a lot, but we really couldn't have just put in our piece right here and just to swivel it. I Maybe mean, he does have a knee and it, his kibble gets in the way of his knee. And he's kind of right at a half minute anyway. I mean, you can move it out of the way to get more of a knee. So, eh. Let's be honest, you're buying this for the Sharktacon mode. You're, you're not going to really have non as robot mode much. I don't put non as robot mode much. I, I occasionally transform it to this mode. Uh, one cool detail is that um, in the original movie, when they transform the Sharktacon, you can see the back of the Sharktacon's head over the back. And since they didn't transform like that, they actually still have the detail of like the teeth coming over the back of his head like that. It's hard to see because of well, how big his head is, but it is a nice little detail they put back there. It's not painted or anything, but it is a cool detail. I just wish it was wider so the effect could work better because, you know, big head. You know, you look at it from an angle, yeah, you can see it, but then you also see the legs and the arms. Also, can we talk about how much kibble he has on his legs? I know it's a Legends class, but we really couldn't have some of this on the back, so we wouldn't have to have the fake teeth there. You know, I mean, there's a really this, a reason to have this much kibble. If it was just the arms or something, wouldn't mind it, but having the whole half a head on each and then the arms as well. Plus, the arms don't collapse in or move in. They could have add a narrow joint to the elbow there so it could at least collapse in more. You're just stuck with the arms just sticking out. So you have claws of doom coming off his feet where you just have weird thi weird little thing coming off his leg. It does make for a really wide heel spur but he doesn't need heel spurs up because it's not like he's a combiner or anything. I don't know. Like I said, the robot mode just does not work for me. It, there's just too many issues. If it was just aesthetics it'd be fine but the weird the, the limited articulation, the weird bends that all of his limbs have, all the extra kibble that really could have gone in a lot of other places, I mean, really is there a reason we couldn't have had it up here? Because it's not like you can see the Sharktacon fin anyway. It's, I mean, it's there from the side, but you could have had it from the side and still had the head here. Plus that, and I don't like hollow figures. I don't like figures where I can see through the back. I, it doesn't feel like there's a robot. I feel like I'm seeing half a robot. And then you can even see, even the back of the legs are hollow. Oh my god, it gets worse. The back of the legs are hollow. They didn't fill it in. It's just a open spot right there. That's weird. It's hollow in the end. Oh, uh, okay. That just lost 10 more points. So yeah, if you're going to get this figure, get for a Sharktacon mode. If you don't want a Sharktacon mode, don't get this figure. The, the transformation's kind of fun, if I'm being honest. It is fun, but the robot mode is not a good robot mode. It's just not... The articulation is only okay, and the figure looks really bad, if I'm honest. The shark to command mode looks really good. Re not great, but really good. The rest of it, though, just just leave it in shark to con mode. Just leave it on shark to con mode. This has been Nori Transformed. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you have a good day. Take care.